everyone, today I have a book review for you. We're looking at Mushroom Botanical Art by Toshimutsu Fukiharu. Toshimutsu Fukiharu is a doctor who specializes in the studies of mycology, which is basically fungi and it includes mushrooms and yeasts. So he has brought together all the most remarkable and most important works of the 18th and 19th centuries and he has brought some of those illustrations together in this one book. So let's look at the contents. So the first chapter starts with the illustrations by Poulet and his work was a lithograph which is like a colored print. They would use um, like copper plates uh, to do the prints and then add colors. So that's the first and it starts in 1855 in France and um, it gives you some information about the book and that it contained 217 prints and then you get a little bit more of the history as well and then you dive into the beautiful illustrations. So because these aren't just like hand-drawn illustrations but there is a, a mix of prints and mix of different type of illustrations throughout the 18th and 19th century, it means that you're not necessarily going to focus on the artist's style of illustrating, if that makes sense. So this is as much of an educational book as well as also very inspiring for artists to take some ideas and work from. And I will show you an example later of um, how sort of I use this book for inspiration. So you can focus on the textures, you can focus on the the colors, the structures, everything uh, to do with mushrooms, which is really, really quite useful. You can also look at the layering aspect of it as well that you can bring into your own illustrations. So you have got loads and loads and loads of examples and there is a nice variety. There's also some kind of, they're, they're still fungi, but not necessarily as you would know them in a traditional representation of it. So it has more than you just expect uh, to see. So chapter two, let's go back into the chapter. So we've got uh, chapter two is new plant genera and then number three fungi of the Provence of Brescia Italy painted from live number four natural colored illustrations of Bavarian and Palatinate fungi growing around Regensburg Germany number five mushroom atlas of the Mont Lucan region in France number six study of wild fungi in Rimini northern Italy. So it really takes you across the atlas and kind of makes you travel around all the famous mushroom regions. Number seven, illustrated catalogue of most common edible mushrooms and confusing poisonous mushrooms in Italy. Number eight, atlas of edible and poisonous mushrooms from France and neighboring countries. Number nine, and herbal. Number 10, illustrated plants of Japan in the 19th century by Iwasaki. And number 11, Minitakas mycological illustrations. So really, you get loads of um, material in this book. And it's not that big as you can see actually, it's just like a size of a reading book really but it is filled and filled with all sorts of different things so like i said before um not necessarily is there like a particular style but what helps is just to see the uh, botanical illustrations of of these beautiful mushrooms 
So these look like a nest of eggs, really. And I'll just give you some examples. I find mushrooms fascinating and um, I have kind of been learning a little bit about the medicinal mushrooms and then I just love looking at them as well, just appreciating the um, the way they grow and the change of them as, as they grow. They kind of also have these different stages of the baby mushroom, then it kind of matures and then even as it over ripens, it still changes the shape and uh, how they grow some of them need a specific mineral compound to grow on and uh, yeah it's all very very fascinating so if you're into mushrooms I would highly recommend this book purely because it just has so much in there so that's the book and then I was going to show you this illustration, in fact I think maybe even these two illustrations that I have done from this book. Maybe this one was from another book, oh I think, I don't remember, I think these three or well, these two might have been from this one which is just a tiny little one I got and uh, it just says all you need to know it's the Collins Jam Mushrooms they have different uh, books on this sort of subject matter food for free, butterflies, trees and all that kind of stuff but this one is such a great little pocket book that you can just have with you I guess if you're foraging for mushrooms or also um, if if you just want to be inspired by it because here you get kind of the illustrations as well as a photograph of the actual mushroom so you can have a better look of the exact way that these mushrooms look in nature. I remember this mushroom in, um, in when I was very little we, we traveled to Russia and in the forest this mushroom is quite common uh -huh. well I'm just reading here it says it's poisonous okay so it must be a mushroom that's looking similar to that so see that's why I would never go and pick mushrooms myself they're just so deceiving and um, they look there there's loads of mushrooms that actually look like an edible mushroom but it's the poisonous version of it so I think I prefer buying mushrooms from the supermarket and also um, dry mushrooms and that's uh, for cooking it's the best thing I think to be on a safe side but yeah they are um, some of them really really beautiful oh this might be the mushroom here the sickener it's called it's also poisonous so it's that one here that I painted from this little book and This one, I don't know, might have been from here. But let's go back to this illustration right here. And this one came from... From this page right here. So I just wanted to show you that um, you can be inspired without sort of tracing the exact image that you can see. So here obviously I went a little bit, uh, you know, within my own kind of intuition how I wanted to paint it. I added color that isn't in the actual mushroom and you can, you know, take it further and create more fantasy-like mushrooms if you wish, but being kind of inspired by the main elements of the, of the mushroom. And even in this case, they tend to grow together like that. 
I just painted them separately. And here is an example of what I was saying earlier. So this is how they start. Most mushrooms start with, you know, as babies. Then they grow into the mature state. And then as they become over-ripened, their top just basically curls upwards and also changes the look of the mushroom. So you could paint the same mushroom in different stages and kind of maybe change up the colors and it would be something completely different. So you could really stretch out your uh, number and variety of mushroom illustrations. I hope you enjoyed this book review and I will link it as always in the links down below for your convenience if you want to check it out. I buy my books pretty much on Amazon and I think this book might have been suggested to me and I'm glad it was because it's actually really really good. So thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.